right. Hi, guys. We are live here at Adobe Creative Cloud, and we are with Veronica Lafortune and Emil Lord Ayot. There you go. Hi. Veronique. 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 Yeah, yeah, I'm learning French while we go. Um, <laughs> and I am Christine Arth. I'm your host today. So. Veronique and Emil are from Libilly Club, and over the next three days, we are going to create some swimwear identity. Yep. Is exactly. that correct? Yep. Yes. And right now, the company's not selling yet because you haven't created the identity yet. But once they're ready for uh, creating the identity, they're actually going to be selling online. And this yep. is someone that you guys know too, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. And um, they're doing their product right now. And cool. They're ready they're to kind launch. of testing. Right now. Amazing. Yeah. So can yeah. you guys tell me a little bit about La Billy Club and what what is it? Sure. Yeah. And um, we made an awesome presentation to oh, cool. uh, present the Billy Club. And uh, so um, we're Veronique Lafortune and Emil Lord. And uh, we started the Billy Club uh, uh, a little while, three years ago. And Emil was at school and mm -hmm. I was uh, hiring him as a uh, freelance? freelance? Oh, yeah. nice. It's so, like we started Amazing. three years ago, but um, I feel like technically it's two years because we, we started working like maybe a year and a, a year and a half oh. before our launching this. Very studio. cool. So, Veronique yeah. is your boss. <laughs> she was. <laughs> no, she, now you're a, just friends. You know, when she, she's a girl boss. Yeah, she's right? Boss yes, yeah. girl bosses <laughs> rule. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> two against one here, Emil. Watch out. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> And uh, we work with a lot of people. We have uh, we we always try to push the collaboration. Nice. So uh, it's something that uh, like this Ooh. is just some few of our friends that we work yeah. with, and we consider our clients as co collaborators too. Oh, that's amazing. Um, yeah, they're Best part kind. of the process, and because we. The Billy Club is for small businesses and uh, makers and yeah. people who start mm -hmm. new projects. So they are important part of the finish. The the final product. Yeah. yeah. And this is our friends for, oh, cool. from the office. We share this uh, wonderful space yeah. with other creatives. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. I love there. it. You've been at the office for like, what, eight years now? Like, no, six? No, uh, 2014. Oh, oh. Nice. Four See, he's now. still new. Yeah. She's the boss. <laughs> 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 or maybe a little bit longer than that. Time goes by really fast. But um, yeah, uh, all different kind of clients. We have a uh, Perron, uh, interior designers, and uh, we have Jeremy Battaglia, which is a uh, 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 make movie and documentary. Yeah, and it uh, looks like Heidi's pretty interested in the Jack Russell Terrier. <laughs> yeah. Who is that? This is Orlief. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> Vanessa uh, Duval's dog, and she's she's always at the office. So, so it's our cute. Little yeah. And uh, Maxim David, uh, my best friend, holding uh, the dog. Oh, yeah. amazing! What's What's fun about them is like there's a, a lot of people like not just graphic design, so we're uh -huh. we're kind of working together like yeah. uh, on and I was, different projects. I was gonna forget Gab the tall Gab man Gab on the right yeah. because he's super <laughs> quiet but he's he's the funny guy. He's, he's like Jim in, in the office. He's the only one wearing the pattern, so yeah, yeah he exactly. had to stand out. Yeah. That was a Christmas uh, party <laughs> picture and he's wearing the, the Christmas jacket. I love it. So we'll say hello to some of the people out there. Thank you for joining us. Jose, David, Agatha, Arturo, Heidi, Juani, Simon, and Vanessa. Simon. Oh, Vanessa and Vanessa. Vanessa. And Simon is the her friend. Oh, Simon nice. Anglois. I said it right, too. It was like Simon. Simon. I'm learning French again. Yes. Yeah. Amazing. So hi, guys. Keep letting us know where you're from, and we'll give you some shout outs yeah. while uh, the team still is talking through the process. Yeah, I, feel, I feel like Montreal is going to be there. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, for those of you who do not know and who just joined, Le Billy Club <laughs> is located in Montreal. So if you are looking for Montreal work, they're your guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, these are the keywords. Um, um, yeah. It's a. Uh, sorry, I'm going to take this over. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is the word that we always really um, work with and we are really trying to push. We want mm -hmm. to collaborate, exchange, motivate people, share stuff with people, and we want to help. Um, mm -hmm. Business yeah. starters. It's great. Um, yeah, as we said earlier, we're a small business too. Like we're we're a small studio, and we're helping we're helping small businesses too. So mm -hmm. That's yeah. that's how we 
I would say we collaborate with people because like everyone's trying to do their best for their own thing, you know. Totally. Yeah, yeah. That's it's fun. really important. I think mm -hmm. that's great, especially because Montreal is a really um, diverse city, exactly. but it's also yeah. tiny. Yeah. And I mean, San Francisco is tiny as well, but yeah. we're, we're equally as diverse. So mm -hmm. I think that's yeah. great to include the collaboration and exchange mm -hmm. profile to really up its game. Mm -hmm. It's and, awesome. And what's cool is that small businesses are always, you know, really passionate about what they're doing because mm -hmm. it's always like their baby. Yeah. And, Yeah. Like their little project and that's that's mm -hmm. kind of like you guys club too. is our baby yeah. so we, <laughs> yeah. we just want to bring everyone up you know i love it that's what's fun oh, well, we have a lot of people joining from all over the world it looks like from oh, mornier's um, from morocco jakarta <laughs> oh a lot of bonjour from montreal um arturo's from montreal greetings from germany colorado springs long beach england, england. wow yeah Quite oh. a following. Oh, in Belgium. Morocco. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Vero was just in Morocco a couple of weeks ago. Oh, no, really? I was in Morocco. No, oh, I was you in Peru. True. <laughs> See? Who was in Morocco? See, you really got to do a better job There sneaking up on her calendar. Man. <laughs> Where I is was the off boss? On this one. Yeah. Someone was in Morocco, though. I'm I mean, sure. Someone well. was in Morocco. I agree. <laughs> someone. Yeah. And it's funny because I met uh, a girl through Beyonce. Yeah. Uh, her name is yeah, Monica, true. and uh, we became good friends. Oh, and I nice. went to visit her in Peru. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. So um, let's keep on going with this presentation. The, these are a few of the, the projects that mm -hmm. we do. Um, We really like to play with colors and like fun mm -hmm. projects. So I think all our projects, they, they look like uh, they've got a vibe. Yeah, you they've know? got a vibe. <laughs> I love because it. Because it's always like the keyword is let's have fun and let's yeah. let's play with graphics and yeah. with the, the, the branding universe. and Totally. I mean, like the more diverse it is, the more fun it mm -hmm. can become. So that's great. Yeah. And I, I think I want to shout out Felix Renault. Who's yeah. Like a ev kind of every picture that your guys gonna see today is from him. We, he's a good photographer. Yeah, he's Ooh. he's really good. He's might as well shout out to him. Huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like that. But it's part of uh, <laughs> how we see Le Billy Club too. Like yeah. we do a lot of exchange with great mm -hmm. collaborators because Amazing. when you're especially working with like smaller projects, you need yeah. to be creative too on totally. how to mm -hmm. um, like take all this step, but with a small budget. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. it's a great way to show cross collaboration with exactly. other creatives and designers. Yeah. Because they need to photograph for their portfolio and mm -hmm. you guys have great things to photograph, so it works <laughs> hand in hand. Exactly. That's amazing. Yeah. Awesome. Perfect. And then, um, well, we wanted to like just take separate project and talk a little bit more about them and mm -hmm. uh, it says some of our favorite <laughs> but we like them all and it's very hard to say okay this is a very special one but they're because they're all really special that's a good thing <laughs> Whoa. Um, the first one here is a, a friend of ours uh, who does um, uh, clothing and mm -hmm. she's only at her first year and uh, her new collection is coming soon and mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it's really easy because you know the person yeah. you work with like it, it's It's what it creates to small uh, to work in uh, with a more local vision and like with people you know. Yeah. And sometimes you can already know what to do. Yeah. For the creation because you know the person mm -hmm. and you're so in tune with each other. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So when Marie Christine came, it was like. She showed us a bunch of research and pictures, but we kind of knew already yeah, <laughs> what she wanted. Yeah, we're wanted. It's and amazing. It's really beautiful and simple, but refined. Yeah, I feel I like, like this one stands out of our portfolio because we said yeah. earlier we're always working with so much color, and this one was, was really toned down, you know? Yeah, really, no color. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, so much except for this one. Yeah. This is where we're different. <laughs> uh, and I think this one represents a lot of our clients because she's really into, uh, like, local stuff, and yeah. really she, she produced, uh, she, well, she, everything in Montreal and uh, it's, it's all local, you know, mm -hmm. so that's kind of that's great what we for aim for. the Billy Club, you know, yeah, yeah mm. as well, very local. Yeah. Mm. And this is a music festival that uh, our friend is organizing, so everywhere we mm -hmm. get to do the, the identity cool. for the festival. Mm -hmm. And um, sh we always have the, like, sh the freedom to do whatever we want, yeah. basically. I love it. And but also we, we know Marilyn, so we always push uh, towards something uh, That, mm -hmm. that will fit her needs and her tastes. So what was the theme for this one? But, uh, Taverneau is uh, like a rock festival in bars. Mm -hmm. oh, so cool. like if you go like 
kind of a pub crawl. You go yeah. bar to bar. Yeah. Like a South by Southwest almost, you know, where it's a lot kind of local of, yeah. bars. Cool. Yeah. And you have like uh, local bands um, playing. Amazing. And uh, it's there's a lot of alcohol and it's yeah. uh, <laughs> there's a lot of different styles of music. And so it's a little bit... Uh, uh, like a little bit scadelic and a little bit yeah. too like it, Love it. and we wanted to, to give it a little uh, design touch on this edition yeah. that was the 2017. It's really nice. Yeah. How did you go about choosing the color palette for it because it's very specific? Well, the the first year we only went with uh, black and white, mm -hmm. and this, uh, this on the second year we wanted to give it uh, something that would really pop, uh -huh. and like the orange feels like orange and black always feels like Halloween, you know, yeah. and. Halloween is really dark and trippy, and this yeah. is kind of the same vibe. Like it's yeah, not, it's, like it's it's never on Halloween, but it, it's in February. February. Oh, I have yeah, February. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I like it. I can say a word. February. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Here I, I am. I I'll help you with your French. Don't yeah. worry. <laughs> and um, yeah, so the, for the the second year, we wanted something to pop, and uh, we just well, we finished the the third year. Uh, well, it was a month ago, ah. and we went with uh, like a big bright uh, purple instead Ooh. of the orange. Like, I like it, it. Cool. yeah. It was really cool. Too. This is really cool though. It's kind of like Vertigo-esque. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's really minimal again, but yeah. refined with a lot of detail, which I love, yeah. Mm -hmm. We wanted cool. to bring some something um, bright too, because yeah. it's for everyone and yeah, we don't want to put, to make it too dark. Yeah, and um, I see that. Axel has a question. Is the printing a tint or is it a spot varnish? Um, or neither. <laughs> Uh, I think neither. The neither of it. No, I silk think it, it's. It, we we wanted to do silk screen. Yeah, we but wanted we to do it, but it was just for color uh, nice. process printed uh, yeah. printing that we can see more on the the right side. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, we have the flask, the alcohol flask, uh, oh, which cool. is like a varnish. Oh yeah. But it's metallic, so it, it looks a little bit shiny. Nice. But um, yeah, I don't know if it's <laughs> or neither. <laughs> or neither. <laughs> I added that in there. Sorry. Uh, Letitia says it's very nice. So. Thank you. Thank Amazing. You. Yeah. Really love the branding. And I think we're gonna post the the third year pretty soon. Like okay. maybe in over a month. If you guys wanna come back in a month, yes, you'll you see guys the new, the new. keep coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. And then another um, project, but it's. Uh, it's more like the client itself that we really like yeah. because yeah. Uh, we're uh, it, we're doing a lot of project with him, and mm -hmm. it's all started. Uh, it started a while ago, and we we have a lot of fun with that client. Always comes yeah. with new project, new ideas, and and um, it's always changing. And mm -hmm. when you do uh, an identity, is it's always. Uh, evolving yeah and that is really fun because sometimes you know you have people that comes in and yeah. they ask for a good toolbox and a good universe but then yep. you don't hear from them f for a while yeah. but Marc-Antoine Marc is always like asking to, re to redo the menu redo like the the coasters like oh, if, I love if, it. if he's done with something it's like hey let's have fun and do something yeah. else and he's a designer in spirit yeah, yeah. exactly because he, <laughs> he is actually he's like let's yeah. make some change i want to see something <laughs> new i'm yeah. tired with and this he, he's really good with uh, design interior too so mm -hmm. like we we always know like when we give him i don't know like a, any toolbox when we finish a branding with him he, he's gonna apply it well and it's oh, gonna be great. always like perfect yeah, yeah. he's really it's good. nice when you work with people that really understand and exactly. they're like spot on with the execution yeah, yeah. he's a good client yeah. amazing <laughs> well hello george hello jose alexander tim voodoo very nice i guess that's val uh and then axel welcome and thank you for joining us today if you guys are just starting to join we are with veronique and emile and they're from la billy club and they're talking us through some of the pieces in their portfolio hmm. yeah and this is our new little uh, baby. Yeah. <laughs> it just came out. Yeah, that just came out. We've been working on this project for a while, but um, it's a, a, a bakery um, yes. from France, actually. It already uh -oh. exists. And, oh, uh, amazing. The, the, we had to do it for the Quebec. So, so like for cool. Montreal. And yeah. so rev we reviewed the identity and um, made it like, they're, they're going to open several shops 
Oh, very Rue cool. America, yeah. yeah. So did you get to rebrand it for Montreal specifically? Yeah, but oh. not just but for the whole uh, oh, country. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, the thing is, like, there's a lot of, uh, of Louise in, uh, in Europe, and they want to, like, implement the brand in all of America, and mm -hmm. they started in Montreal. And this is oh, their, their, their starting point, yeah, so we... Uh, yeah, we worked with them, and this is this is a really fun one because it was really big, you know. And we don't have uh, we don't do a lot of rebrand, I think. Yeah. And so it's kind of a different process, but totally. it's always fun. And that that was a really big uh, big team on, on mm -hmm. there, and we collaborated with so much people mm -hmm. there. Amazing. And, it, and it, we we applied the same process we do with yeah. all uh, all the small business uh, owners. So it was very fun for us. Yeah, it's very really cool. good client too. Like they were really into what uh, we were doing, and they were they were really open to what we were uh, yeah, suggesting, so yeah, it was fun. Okay. <laughs> agenda. They, yeah. We're done with the portfolio. Oh, I was like, we're done with what boss. client is agenda? <laughs> I was no, like, no. oh, I bet they're really tough. <laughs> <laughs> no. We just wanted to say uh, what we're going to do for yeah. the three days. Yeah, this is great. You guys come so prepared. This is lovely. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Sounds like they would be a really good place to go if you mm. were a client. Hmm. <laughs> mm. So day one, uh, who we are, who are we, what yes. we do, um, yes. and then this we're the... gonna see our process now, and we're gonna go on the mandate and see what uh, is Monicano. Uh, this is today. Tomorrow we're gonna design all day, so uh, we're just gonna be uh, in her yeah, illustrator. Gonna, it's gonna be less presentation tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll tell jokes, French jokes. There you I'll go. I'll come up with some French jokes tonight. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> and uh, day three, we're going to mo mock up stuff and um, wrap up uh, our work and put it all in the presentation. Amazing. Mm -hmm. So, Jose has a question for you guys. As yeah. part yeah. of the process to select someone new to work with, what are the qualities you look for in, uh, in, in some of your clients? Mm. You know, uh, when we start collaborating with someone, it's always like first, well, the, the portfolio of who we're working with is important, uh -huh. but also really it's about the vibe. You know, when when you start working with someone, you want it to feel like it's like this person is part of the mm -hmm. team, you know? Yeah. And but what we always do is we, we keep every portfolio and yeah. like there's some... You, when you see a portfolio, you already have an idea of, in your mind. Mm -hmm. And I always ask, ask people, um, what do you want to work with? Mm -hmm. Exactly. What do you want to do? Yeah. So when the project comes up, yeah. you know exactly who you want to who wants to collaborate with you. It's like the exactly. other one, the other way around to see it. You know. Yeah. yeah. And like we, we just want to have the best people on on like a specific project. You know. Right. Yeah. Some some people are are going to be better for a different type of client. So yeah. we try to change that way. Yeah. Oh, that's great. If it awesome. <laughs> there welcome, you go, Jose. Jose. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. So should we get into it? Yeah. Exactly. All right. Let's do let's it. Let's go. Let's, let's go. go. <laughs> oh, I love this. Yes. <laughs> so this is our branding process for small businesses, mm -hmm. and uh, it all it's always three phases, and we always start with alignment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, design and production will go through each uh, step, so you can really mm -hmm. understand. Amazing. What is the uh, what's in the steps yeah um, and there are some tips for you guys uh, first for us for small business uh, business owners we like to meet the the, the, the person we, we need to meet in person because yeah. it's very personal and you can get you can get to know them so much totally. better when they're yeah. in front of you and like mm -hmm. you know some, sometime with BNC you're, you've been you're contacted by people around the world and yeah. there's mm -hmm. so many good project and cool project but it's always very nice to meet in person if it's possible if yeah. it's not possible like have a chat mm -hmm. on yep at least there's Skype yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly <laughs> that can always help yes, yeah exactly there's so many platform you can uh, see like FaceTime client yeah, appear. Yeah, so, sometimes people think like we're gonna waste time in meetings, but like it's you get things you the first from time. Body so you, language yeah, and exactly. From just yeah. seeing people when they answer your questions and how they yeah. answer and how they respond. Um, Junior had a question about what font you're using <laughs> here. Oh, That's this is one. yeah. This is called Czech. This is a font I made in, uh, oh. uh, in the university. That was my uh, amazing. Yeah, my graduate project. Uh, oh, yeah. I think that we're just gonna have to do a high five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Woo. 
And Boss we use one, it. a meal one. <laughs> <laughs> we now use it for Billy Club uh, presentation. Yeah, it's beautiful. So we're lucky. It's very nice. So if you guys want that font, you know where to go. <laughs> Ask Always. the Lord. <laughs> it's not even uh, for sale because it's not yes. finished. Uh, Vero's yeah. on. <laughs> Vero's She's always like, yeah. yeah. There, there's some... Uh, there's missing some, some things blitz. now. Yeah, You're I'm not sorry. impressing your boss. <laughs> nah. I, I'm going to finish it someday. Yeah. I will. I, Amazing. I will. I will. Well, they're giving you lots of high fives, so this is good. Thanks, they say it's guys. very good. Yeah. <laughs> So that was the tip for uh, the the first yeah. uh, the first step alignment and the this uh, it always come with a presentation. So mm -hmm. like what we do is we go meet the person because some they're not uh, they don't have a marketing background sometimes right. and mm -hmm. they don't know what to tell you and what information you need. So yep. the alignment is more like what are your goals? What do you want to do? Mm -hmm. What inspire your life? What's yeah. your favorite color? Right. Like, what do you do on the weekend? Mm -hmm. Yep. What's your favorite TV show? Like, you <laughs> yeah, just exactly. need to it's know. Getting to know people. Yeah. yeah. Because you, yeah. you never know. Yeah. Like, some people vomit when they see a green color. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's true. I mean, we all did that earlier. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, yeah. so the alignment is very like the the brief confirmation. Like he, we we usually like rewrite the brief. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. we rewrite the brief and we we tell it back to them. Exactly. Yeah. We send it back and it's like, is everything good? Like, are you happy with this? And yeah. you want to go on and. Because because right. after when you say yes, like we're having fun designing with this. Yeah. Exactly. And uh, we also like make sure that we always have three keywords that we're trying to respect and like mm -hmm. let's like say uh, billy club uh, for us it's always like it needs to be fun coll collaborative and uh design i don't know like <laughs> we need more like time that. to think about You're this like, what third words yeah. you know tentative <laughs> design. It comes with every client yeah, right exactly. yeah no, may, maybe we, it depends on the client exactly yeah. no but sometimes yeah. we take a lot of time to, to decide on one word yeah. And like people, like it's yeah, green. Today could be green. Today, you today never could know. Be green, yeah, you know. <laughs> fun. Yeah, the collaboration in green. <laughs> <laughs> I like green. Yeah, but I never use it. It was True. a joke because someone told me that uh, there's a specific green that you can't see. Oh really? Yeah. Well, for all of you, there's a green screen behind <laughs> us that you can't see, but it's very green. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah. Perfect. And uh, we also, in that presentation, um, put a lot of mood boards to mm -hmm. um, show them what we visualize when they think about the project. Amazing. So we can have a real conversation about, like, this is what we see wh when you give us your feedback and mm -hmm. your, like, all your information. Yeah, it's very helpful to align beforehand. Exactly. All of you guys watching, do you often do the same process where you align with your client beforehand and does that work for you? Because I feel like it's definitely a way to really understand yeah. who you're working with and, and get a better sense of where you want to go together. Yeah, I think yeah. this is something that bigger agency tend to do, but like small studio and freelancer don't always do that and just start designing. And I, yeah. I guess this is just perfect, like just for the client to be uh, yeah, for sure. in sync with you. you it's know? a very good tip so that yeah. you don't go down a road that they might not want to yeah, travel exactly. on. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Sherry Ann says it makes the process smoother, yeah, for exactly. sure. <laughs> it, it doesn't happen like in a lot of like uh, when we do alignment and then we start designing and people don't like what we yeah, do. Right? It doesn't happen often because yeah. we, we put a lot of effort in alignment. So like people always know where we're going. So. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sounds like Anita, Daniel, Arturo, they're in line. I like that. Perfect. This is good. And it's, all, it's easy when you, let's say you present your first the, the, the second phase of uh, creation and they don't like it, you yeah. can come back on the word and say, well, maybe it, it, mm -hmm. this shouldn't be here and right. it should be more like this. And then they agree on it and then you can move forward to yeah. change the, mm -hmm. the, 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 the second step. Because also when you're working with small businesses, you, you really want to respect the budget yep. because they are short on money and like you need, yeah, you need to move forward mm -hmm. and, yeah. and take it seriously this this phase. Yeah. Amazing. Um, 
Ah. Tip, confirm the playground with your client. This is why we, how we call the keywords, because it's what you're going to play with after. Amazing. Yeah, this is definitely like a keyword we the use playground. often. The yeah. playground. Uh, yes, yeah. and there's that font again. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be there Patricia says, like... bonsoir, or Patrice. <laughs> bonsoir, Patrice. Bonsoir. Hello. <laughs> Hello. So phase two is um, the design. So it's the second presentation. And we usually put two to three design mm -hmm. direction. Mm -hmm. If we know the people, we'll totally go for two, I'm sure, because yeah. it, we have more mm -hmm. time to uh, make a, a nice option, mm -hmm. design option. Yeah. But if we don't know the person, we usually go for three design direction because it'll give some options. Yeah. And it's, it's, uh, it's, you never know. So like, yeah. you don't want to do just two, like, yeah. Usually the third one is the good one when yeah. you're not yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah, you're like, well, it's not this right. or that, it's this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right in the middle. <laughs> yeah. And we always try to push the, the three avenues or two avenues at the same level, the same yeah. quality. Yep. So it because you, you never know, maybe you like an option better. Yeah. But you, you never know what they're gonna choose. No. Exactly. Yeah. If so. you're at the first slide and in their ad they don't like the fun. Yeah. Like it's true. So yeah. Yes. So never just present a logo. That's a no-no. <laughs> no. Don't show a logo white. You guys already black. heard this now. It's your first no-no. <laughs> never present just a logo. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is the brand we actually did for uh, uh, Felix Renault, the, oh, yeah. the photographer oh, we work wonderful. with. They yeah. have a, a studio in Montreal. Cool. And they ask us to do uh, the identity and some, uh, mm -hmm. some of the space design. And the, in the this phase, we have the logo. Usually, we have the the color palette for a direction. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it changes a little bit. Sometimes we use the same palette because it's really obvious that yeah. this is the color we're gonna use. Yeah. And uh, we always make a list of deliver div deliverables. Deliverables. Yeah. Deliverables. Oh, it's another word that I'm really good at. <laughs> deliverables. <laughs> And uh, we make them approve the list and estimate time. Perfect. It's very important too, like because, yep. uh, and it's the next tip, <laughs> because uh, you never know. You just want to make sure that you have enough time to do it, mm -hmm. and production time takes always longer than you think. Totally. Yeah. 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 That's a really great reminder to everyone who's watching. And in fact, uh, Christos had a great question. So, yeah. what do you guys do when you have a client that? doesn't choose one of the options. Well, we, we come back to the alignment phase. You exactly. Know? We come back to the uh, alignment phase and uh, we compare the work we've done and we justify why we went there. Mm -hmm. And then you can stop in the first, uh, the first presentation and say, okay, this is where mm -hmm. it's not right. the good information right. for what we've done. I think it's an extremely important question and it's great to answer because yeah. it does happen. You know, there's no yeah. designer that's like, nope, they always choose my work. It's awesome because yeah. like that just doesn't exist. Exactly. It's but they're, like making they're, food people don't mm -hmm. like. Everyone has different tastes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But there's always like more work after this yep. presentation. It's, mm -hmm. it's never just like take an option and it's no. done. It's never they done. can say, oh, I really like this option, but I'm not sure about the color palette. I like right. this option, but the logo, I prefer yeah. the first one mm -hmm. and the first option. So it's a conversation when you you are at that phase. And yeah. uh, if they really don't like it, then it's because the first phase wasn't made well. Yeah, because exactly. they didn't align, maybe. Exactly. Uh, exactly. They weren't yet ready to open up or tell yeah. the truth about what yeah. they really hate and love. And <laughs> but that's a good way to see if a client is serious or not. Yep. If they take time to help you get the information, yep. mm -hmm. you know that you'll, you'll work well with them. Exactly, because they're very invested. I think yeah. that that's um, a very good sign to know. But like, that's great. Everything in life is about communication, I feel, so this is... This is the thing, just talk to your clients and like really understand each other. That's yeah. pretty much the only way, I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Axel says that he really appreciates the use of white space in your design. <laughs> <Thanks>. Me too. <laughs> Perfect. Um, and the tip uh, number, babe, with this is always present well your work because it can change a presentation. Totally. Yeah. Like it can switch a presentation from, sometimes you, you want to work until the end, but you don't put as much effort in the presentation as what you did on mm -hmm. your design yeah. but i feel like ask for an extra day if it's if it's the case like if you have a good relationship with mm -hmm. your client 
time that you're supposed to have at the beginning. Yep. You can say, like, I'm, I'm really happy of what I have mm -hmm. to yeah. present you, but I, I, I just want to push it a little bit. Yeah, because we have, we, we, as, as designer, we know how, we're, how our things are going to present, but your client doesn't, you know? Right. So if you just present a logo and like a page of, you know, I don't know, some, some uh, random stuff, I, mm -hmm. they, they're not going to know what you want to do with it. So that's. Yeah. But yeah. that's, that's a case for small, I feel for small businesses because we are really flexible. Yeah. They yeah. are really flexible. I yeah. don't think it applies to well, any yeah. client, like True. every client. Yeah, I think a lot of people are agreeing. They're definitely saying that, you know, presentation <laughs> is key. They're like, especially Wani, e, he's like, my work presentation is horrible. What do you, well, you're going to learn some <laughs> tips from these two yeah. today. So this is perfect time to tune in. Yes. Um, oh, uh, Constanza says, uh, in what phase do you talk about prices? Oh, it's not even in the phase, it's at the beginning. But yeah, exactly. And <laughs> there Hopefully. Could have, but there could yeah. have been a good tip for that at the beginning, before going in the al alignment, but I think it's always better to uh, estimate the real price of a project, so you yep. choose your uh, hour rate, yep. and you... you uh, calculate every step and hours it will take and then you send the real uh, budget yeah. yeah and you ask if if you really want to do it you ask them uh, if you're not happy with this or it's not yeah. part of your budget yep. like talk to me open dialogue yeah, exactly, exactly. And yeah. hopefully if it's someone who wants to work with you then they make you both can mm -hmm. uh, ebb and flow to yeah, meet you can in be the creative middle. to to, totally. to move that budget you know yes yeah uh, George agrees. He's like, I'm glad we're talking about presentations. <laughs> Everybody's really interested in this presentation. I hope you guys are doing a workshop on this later, too. <laughs> yeah, it might be a new offering at La Billy Club. <laughs> May it's, a, it's always interesting. It's like the thing that designers don't really talk presenting about. Presenting themselves, yeah. Because when mm -hmm. you present your work, you're presenting yourself and exactly. vice versa. So it's yeah. really important to... Remember, it's like getting dressed at the end of the day. Like yeah, you might exactly. have great clothes, but if you don't wear them, <laughs> then that's a problem. Good I feel that the office yeah. gave us the opportunity to share that with people too. You know, oh, and, that's great. Yeah. And I don't think, I don't think uh, it's it, you need to protect how you work because we're creatives. Uh -huh. That's yeah. our that's our values and that's our difference. You know, exactly. it's not it's not the way you work the the, the process. It's yeah. what mm -hmm. you do and how you use your brain and yeah. your, yeah. your creativity. And uh, this is uh, the the last phase, the production, yeah. is from mockups to production and. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, you present crazy stuff, but you need to be ready to execute the work. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> in this case, for Motel, like uh, we discussed a lot about it uh, with Felix before doing that piece, but it it was a, a crazy idea that came alive and uh, yeah. very cool. So I see that those are the little keys that yeah. are usually the keychain to a motel exactly hotel room. Yeah. yeah. And it's just the shape that we use for the logo, and we didn't brand the, the key or use it. We just yeah. use it as a, like a little piece of art in the office. And I like that. We, yeah. Sometimes the simplest thing is the, which is also sometimes the most expected, is the right yeah, answer. Yeah, exactly. And I think yeah. that's like the key to good communication. Yeah. yeah. True. Oh, I love that. So for those of you who are just tuning in with us, we're sitting here with Veronique and Emil, and they're from Le Billy Club. And we're talking through a little bit of their work from their portfolio as well as their process right before we get started with the swimwear line that you guys yeah. are about to design for the next three days. So a tip for production, I said it earlier, but it's uh, to make a to-do list and keep track of your hours. Yeah. Because when you start doing like project you really like, you usually put too much hours in production and just make yeah. it happen. But yeah, you, you need to learn at one point how to stop this and make it uh, like. Well, make it real. You know, make, make it, it real. real. Yeah, yep. make it happen. And I think those are the things you learn. The more design you do, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the longer that you do it, the more I guess like stern and, and and respected you are of your own work mm -hmm. so yeah. I think that it takes time so that's yeah. a it's a good tip you know like sometimes you ebb and flow and bend a little bit in the beginning and then you start to become more you know mm -hmm. I would say not aggressive but more connected with your design mm -hmm. yeah but sometimes too it's frustrating for the client let's say you say I'm gonna do this uh -huh. and you 
we're just two and we don't have the capacity to do everything. Yeah. yeah. And then you need to find a solution because they are getting more stressed, they're, that they're, it's not going to yeah. be on time. And so you need to be ready to, uh, and flexibility to move stuff around yeah. quickly. This is all really good designer to designer <laughs> advice. So I hope you guys are listening and taking lots of notes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, after that, like, yeah. that's another tip for designers that uh, we say, but showcase your work and take time to do it. I think this is a way we're talking about communication and yeah. uh -huh. how to get the communication about your work. And I saw earlier on the chat a comment that say, uh, how do you get, uh, it was um, with the previous guest, but mm -hmm. it was like, how do you get so many followers and stuff? And it just takes time. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like I've been on time. DMs for so long and I always like push my work and the yeah. quality that I wanted to push. Mm -hmm. and exactly. The same, at time. the same level and it takes time. And it's, it's if you like what you do and uh, yeah. You share that passion, it, it will come. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a good quote that I always think about that is, there's no secret, just do the work. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? exactly. Yeah, you just yeah. gotta work hard, and the harder you work, you can't let yourself down. So. Yeah. <laughs> and I think it's just, as we said earlier, like we, we were talking about how presentation is important, and this is how clients see us as well as, you know, the, the, com yeah. the design community see us that way, but like the clients see that too. So if, if they know you put a lot of effort in presenting yourself and you, they see the, the project you do and they, they see that you, you love what you do, you know, totally. they're gonna have confidence in what you do too. Exactly. So yeah. And people now, like they, they, they find your work and they showcase it and like it goes fast when you're, yeah. mm -hmm. when people know the quality and they, they are happy to share it. Exactly. That's great. You guys have wonderful work and I'm really excited for what you guys are going to work on <laughs> yeah. in the next three days. I know you guys are excited too. There's a lot of people out there watching, so let us know how excited you guys are because I'm excited. <laughs> And I'm also excited to say that there is a challenge and there's a mm. submission deadline. So definitely do the challenge today. What we're doing is working on a environmentally conscious logo for World Water Day. And you will have another 52 minutes to submit your best work. And these two experts will then <laughs> choose the winner. Yeah. Perfect. Um, something I want to say about that, like when you showcase your work, your own, uh, you're also showcasing your clients, and that's something we like because we, yeah. we, as we always say, like we we work with small businesses, and they want they want to be out there too, totally. and that's that's how we can help them too, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Like today, you know, just talking through your work is talking through your clients, mm -hmm. exactly. and they're getting exposure yeah. just as much as you are. So it's a win-win yeah. situation. There you go. Yeah. And that's why we want to do it. Yeah. What's important. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Super. Ooh, good job. Bravo. I think a round of applause. What do you guys think? <laughs> Great job, guys. We're like, hey, yeah. <laughs> good job, us. <laughs> so that was the process presentation. And now uh, we we are at the, what we're going to work on, the cool. Money Cano apparel project. Ooh, yeah. Money Cano. So tell us a little bit about Money Cano. Yeah, sure. Well, right now we're going to show the first phase, the first step of Ooh. alignment. That's what we did for Monicano. And uh, what you guys are going to see is just like exactly what we present to a client. Cool. You know, this is, so yeah, the, the first alignment step is exactly like that. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Well, well everybody's clapping over there, so this is good. They're like, hey, you guys already did a great job, so, <laughs> you know. <laughs> We're all gonna sit back and have a cocktail now. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh yeah. <laughs> just kidding. You guys can't have cocktails yet. <laughs> After. I, I just saw there's Ida who says something really interesting. She says 100% uh, of her clients are local, mostly word of mouth, yeah. and that's something that's also true. Like in Montreal, I guess mm -hmm. everybody knows each other, and like we can, we we always say like we can make a, a web through our yeah. all of our clients. It's they all know true. each other in in in. in I anyway, think even yeah. in really big cities it's yeah, similar yeah. because mm -hmm. there's this underground layer of people who, mm -hmm. you know, connect and they're the connectors. Yeah. And, you know, if you're friendly, you work well with others and you're willing yeah. to collaborate, I think people start to know that that's who you are and want to mm -hmm. help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. great. 
especially us, uh, we work with a lot of restaurants and Ooh, yeah. like restaurants in, in Montreal, it's booming, you know, there's oh, yeah. one, there, there's a new one Food every... Food is the best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm with you guys. I work with yeah. restaurants here and I'm like, I'll never have to go hungry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But but we love them, you know. Yeah. Uh, restaurant people are always so passionate about that, what they mm -hmm. do. Totally. And like, yeah. Yeah, They're so. designers in their own right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So Manicano, yeah. um, Manicano is not just a swimwear apparel company, but it's um, also like a, a state of mind and a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And we found uh, Gabri uh, Gabrielle and Arthur uh, through one of her co-worker at the bay mm -hmm. at the office. Yeah, um, we did the branding for the, her interior design company. Amazing, and um, we. We work for the bakery too. We hired her to do the interior design oh, and collaborate. Super. So um, it's it's just fun with her, and this is the project of her brother. Amazing! So, yeah. so you guys know each other all through past projects and family exactly. and friends. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. That's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> but it was That's also the best way. when uh, we got the opportunity to come here. We're like, okay, we're gonna look around for a project that we want to do and um, that is gonna be fun. Yeah. And it's nice. just super nice that it's also related with the water theme. Oh, yeah. I love that. Yeah, you're like, oh, you know, and it's a water theme. I'm actually like pulling up some of the the contestants now. So cool. we will um, maybe we can even take a quick yeah, break for sure. and oh, sure. look at some of the contestants. Give me one mm -hmm. second. All right. So let's see. OK, so these are some oh. of the first ones that we've gotten submitted. Uh, we've got Water for All by Jose Vargas. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. We've got. Oops, hold on now. We've got the second one by Indraha Salunki. Oh, I guess you want us to comment on it. Yeah, yeah that's, you that's can comment thing. on that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's, I'm like, no, that's no, no, what cool. we want, right? <laughs> well, we're yeah. not choosing anything yet. They still have another 48 minutes, but we'll go through because oh. we're going to get a lot of submissions. So, so. so maybe people that sent this, like... They could update it between now and then. Yeah, so if you good. guys have comments, like, I would say them now, and then it gives them an opportunity to resubmit. Well, first, for the, this one, I think... Uh, Putting the the type in the middle like that, like if it's used in small, um, no, I don't know, in small. It, if it's too tiny, yeah. If yes. it's too tiny, the, the the type is just gonna disappear. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can have two versions. Yeah. Too. And keep like the the middle version in a circle exactly. as the the small version of the logo, and this you can keep it as the big. Exactly. I think that's just great. separate the two, and yeah, there you go. All right, we've got another one. Water for all. By Jacob Whitley. Cool color palette, but I'm not sure I understand the the, the concept of it. Yeah, um, we've got this cool. one by Tariq Aziz. Nice. Looks like it's uh, draining. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I can see some green in there. Yeah. Oh, oh. this one is a video. a video. Oh, so it's like very a interesting. It's like a flower. Yeah, exactly. Oh, more and more. That's super. Cool. We have Water okay. for All by Levi James. Cool. And Levi submitted earlier as well. Oh, really? I think so. Yeah. Cool. Oh, this reminds me a little bit of Dannon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's kind of a Maybe common too ground close for water. to Dannon, yeah. Uh, let's see. Water for <laughs> All using the rainbow for everyone. The rainbow's a good idea, but like. Yeah, bring it down a little, you know, yeah. keep it simple. It's more artwork than yeah. a logo for yeah. when yeah. we look at it. All right, and then the last one that we're looking at right now is by Joshua Wheeler. Okay. Dripping it. Yeah. A lot of uh, like different shades of blue in the option. Mm -hmm. There was a little bit of green. Yeah. All right. Well, that's the submissions that we okay. have right now. You guys keep submitting. This is pretty exciting. I know <laughs> that there's going to be a lot coming through, and <laughs> you'll get some pretty good comments. So keep submitting so that yeah. you can get the best tips while you can. <laughs> All right. So let's get back to Manicano. Yeah, Manicano. So um, they are partners in business and in life. It's oh, a couple. Love it. And um, yeah. they really want to go travel around the world and 
have this company, the Manicano like apparel. And it's uh, how can I say that they they want to bring their big ideas and vision mm -hmm. in, in to their daily lives. I love it. Um, I'm not gonna read it because you probably have time to read it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the brief for us was, um, but the Manicano's product are aesthetically pleasing, but this is also the case for a lot of com yeah. other competing company, and that's like you, you need to be aware of that when you do a brand too, like yeah. what's going on. And uh, there's a lot of people um, who's, who are trying to adopt that lifestyle too. So it's yeah. uh, mm -hmm. what's our mission. The Billy Club is to dif differ differentiate the brand and their products. Uh, we will focus to Manicano's passion to, for travel and nature and bring it to life by making it as a mm -hmm. big story as possible. Amazing. Yeah, but I, I feel like that first sentence is like, this is true for any project you do. Exactly. Like, don't, don't just focus on the product to differentiate the brand because especially in these times where everyone's on the internet and yeah. you can access to like everything there's there's always someone doing the same thing as you i feel totally. so so that's that's why you have to uh yeah look at the at i don't know the vibe of the client or what like what you want to do with the product you know yeah and yeah where where can you bring the product somewhere else yeah exactly yeah. Like. So, um, that being said, we have some very important news. <laughs> we have a giveaway in 15 minutes. What? And I just want you guys to just touch these socks. <laughs> just touch Emil the socks. socks. Oh, if we were love talking socks. About, we were talking Maybe about we can get Emil to wear the socks that you <laughs> then win. No, no, no. And do that. you're like, no, I'm keeping yeah. these. <laughs> All right, so you guys might not win the socks, <laughs> but you'll definitely win the pillow. Yes, hashtag pillow hype. Go West Sly. <laughs> That's definitely a boss thing to do. You're like, oh, look, Emil's gone. <laughs> Emil, I'm Lord Pillowhead. <laughs> uh. Amazing. So hopefully you guys are entering in now because, well, I don't know if you get to enter. I think this is just randomized. So we'll pick who gets to win the pillow and the socks <laughs> soon. Yeah, but it's but just random, right? It's, it's random, a... yeah. Whoa. I know, <laughs> Arthur wants the socks. I know, Arthur, I want the socks too. <laughs> Everybody wants the socks. I'm sure you okay. can have some. I'm sure I could if I like asked enough. <laughs> I still don't have a pair of socks. I mean, right? You think that if you come here and you live in San Francisco, you can just get socks. <laughs> you should, yeah. It's not that easy, you guys. You no. have to enter. <laughs> you should enter. And can, I know. Can, put, gonna, put my name in there. You guys. Put, yeah, put, put my, my name, name in there. <laughs> Amazing. You're like, I want to win the socks. <laughs> Who thinks Emil should get socks? <laughs> <laughs> just so you guys know, I do wear socks right now. So just oh, are you? Yeah. Are they good socks? They're good. Okay, yeah. maybe yeah. if we're lucky, he'll show us to them. He'll show us them later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Feet in the air. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. So enough pillow hype. Let's get back to work. <laughs> so um, yeah. So our mandate is really to create Manicano, a strong and unique brand signature that reflects the owner's passion and vision for the company. I love it. I'm sure they love it too. Because yes, they're like, oh, exactly. yes, they're my really vision, my passion, you're going to make this into visuals? Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, yes. they're really excited. and ah, Good. I like a this. Tip. A tip. <laughs> I always start with a clear goal. So mm -hmm. um, it's always important to know what you're really doing, you know? Totally. Mm -hmm. And yeah. this is the only the only way you're gonna get where you want and what they yeah. want. Yeah. So I think this we, is a good tip for life, not just for designers. So <laughs> it applies in every situation. In. <laughs> but we ask uh, Arthur and Gabriel when but we ask Arthur when, on the phone and um, he was sharing what they were thinking and uh, we want to make a living by traveling and by creating something that reflects who we are. So yeah. that's what they want to oh, do. Yeah. That's the goal. And so, the, like. The goal is not to focus on, like, Bill Club's goal is to do identity and that's yeah. that's it. But, like, what's their goal, you know? That's, yeah. that's what you want to focus on. Arturo had a good question. How do you prep for a clear goal? Well, you just ask. <laughs> <laughs> you ask them, like, I don't know, and just by talking to them and... Uh, that's yeah. great. It takes just, time to think about it yeah. and, like, yeah. you, you write everything and you 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 take off what's not necessary uh -huh. and uh, yeah. you clar clarify um, 
what do you help them write it or yeah, for do you sure. usually yeah, rely yeah. on them to kind of bring it to you May that's um, in the when we present the mm -hmm. alignment that's where we said like we meet them we mm -hmm. sometimes have a question form uh -huh. and then we come back with the brief which uh -huh. have all those little details in it like yeah, yeah. just just like re rewrite what the client uh, said to you just by doing that like I don't know because sometimes people talk and just yeah. and you know just try to focus on uh, the important point that the client said totally but, um, and you can ask yeah. them like do you want to make money out of this do you want to change the world right. do you want to and yeah, the honest answer yes. the, yeah. the honest answer is like oh no we we love traveling and yes we want to change the world if possible yeah. and like help mm -hmm. the uh, the environment and stuff yeah. but the, it's always come to like what you want to do with this project yeah, I yeah think exactly it's great People come and like they, they ask for a new logo, but you, you gotta ask the clients like yeah. what for? Like mm -hmm. what do you wanna do with that new logo? Like if it's just to have a new branding just for nothing, well yeah. why why are we doing it, you know? Mm -hmm. I think that's great. Mm -hmm. And it's also extremely important in order to kick off design work. Oh well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. This is awesome. The main oh, platform. They all want to work with you now. So, <laughs> yes, apply within. Yeah. And the main platforms for uh, that brand will be on Instagram website and packaging. I think uh, Instagram is like a platform that is getting more attention mm -hmm. for yeah. selling stuff and to. Uh, for sure. Uh, cross collaboration, as you say, like, and yep. very, you can really know. A, a brand, a company yeah. through Instagram because you know what they showcase and who they play with. Totally, and yeah. like what they're doing on a day-to-day -day basis if they're mm -hmm. doing exactly. live feeds and yeah. who they are and what they like. Exactly. Yeah. It's amazing. Like us, we don't do too much. We showcase our work and we work. So we yeah. don't have time to put it as a small studio. We prefer to put our energy. Yeah. But it's, we choose that with them too, you know, in a way that, uh, you, you have to be aware a little bit and really tell your clients, oh, you should just tell through this or through this platform. Yeah. yeah. And uh, in this case, they want to go with Instagram, but then it needs to connect with a store and yep. stuff like this. So mm -hmm. you, you already need to think about this now. You have mm -hmm. to tell a full story. Because yeah, like exactly. a, a website, a store website is super expensive and that's something that some people sometimes don't think about. Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah, brick and mortar gets very pricey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, everyone's really interested <laughs> in um, you guys opening up a studio maybe in Baltimore, Maryland, <laughs> so that they can hire you. <laughs> <laughs> People are interested they in work. her work and the pillow. <laughs> yeah, they're like, look, they're like, I love the pillow. Open up a studio so you can hire me. <laughs> uh, I love it. Yeah, um, so our pla uh, playground for that project, um, mm -hmm. they want to go uh, to warmer weather escapes. So uh, this is where the essence of the project, the, the state of mind, the vacation. Nice. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, these are the teams of the project for us. Oh, great. Yeah. Um, we didn't like, did a, a slide before to explain what we're, we're going to see because this is also information that they gave us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like it's just to re-put on the table and visualize mm -hmm. it like everything. Um, the quality of the product, like they are uh, very serious of getting like good quality product and make uh, bikinis that don't fall and stays on your body and right. resistant <laughs> to UV, like eco-friendly fabric and, um, and made in, in Montreal. Love it. Yeah, they, they have a, a, yeah, an eco-friendly uh, yeah, vision about their project and the quality, I feel, is like a big key to it because you don't want to throw away your, your uh, swimwear like a year after, exactly, you know? Exactly, yeah. That's, that's part of it. Especially if it gets um, tattered or yeah. the salt water will mm -hmm. ruin it. So it's important to think about the longevity exactly. of the product that they're making. Exactly. Um, the nature is very important because all these pictures they're going to share on Instagram and mm -hmm. stuff, it's all like from scenery of uh, mm -hmm. a, a country or something. So it will come with amazing pictures. And I think because you are 
in that environment, you need to respect it and you need like yeah. to, to push it. And that's something they told us too. It's when they went on vacation, they were surprised how much pollution there was and they wanted to change something mm -hmm. about that. Yeah. Too. Mm -hmm. So so one of our viewers, Sarah Sharouf, is asking, so this is a real brand? It's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is, it is real. It is. And soon you'll be able to buy the swimwear from them yeah. once yeah. they create the brand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, they have a very nice vision and it's uh, we don't have a lot of clients that do like summer stuff like yeah. this because oh, nice. and right now in Quebec it's winter so it was very uh, <laughs> fun it was fun to get a project like <laughs> You're this like, and oh yeah. good we can exactly. dream of summer <laughs> oh, right, and yeah, put exactly. her brain in the yeah. summer, summer mode <laughs> yeah. like just this this so you guys week. listen to the beach boys and things <laughs> like that at work yeah. right now you're like yeah california dreaming <laughs> i understand that they want to start a company and escape from yeah. the and this, no. <laughs> oh simone go, like, is watching hey, simone Laliberte. hey simon. how are you <laughs> yes simon the americans say they're like no 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 simone simone simone, simone. <laughs> Uh, Simone was also on the show yeah. um, not too long ago when I was on the show, and that's how we met him. So they all talked to me, and they're like, oh, yeah, they all know each other because they're all from yeah. Montreal. Exactly. It's like, a yes. small world. Yes. Small world, yeah. <laughs> Especially in the design world in Montreal. Yeah. Everybody knows everybody, you know. Amazing. Well, we have a few more minutes, and then we're going to do the giveaway. So you Ooh. guys better get excited. More pillow hype coming your way. So, <laughs> you know, I mean, the pillow is still on the table. I mean, Emile's wearing the socks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, guys. I'm He's not. He's like, I'm, I'm not, not, I promise. <laughs> Don't worry, we won't give you half Warren socks. Exactly. Fully Warren socks. <laughs> That's what we're doing. <laughs> Amazing. We're going to wear them for a couple days and a then we're going to give them. Yeah. Yeah. So, is everybody tuning in? Are you guys tuning in from work or are you uh, late night or are you early morning? I'm curious where everybody's tuning in from because yeah. I bet there's a lot of people working on projects right now that yeah. are. Stealing away time so they can watch you People guys. People are procrastinating. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> this is a great way to procrastinate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. So, yeah, for those of you who are turning in right now, um, we're just looking at a mood board that is created to talk about the themes for... Mm, how Monicano. Do you say it? Monicano, yeah. yes. For Monicano with uh, Veronique and Emile. Heather's there. Ah, yes. Hello, it's Heather. Hello, Heather. Welcome. <laughs> oh, hello from Berlin, Nigeria. Amazing. All of these places. Ah, super okay. fun. Cool. Uh, we were at. Yeah, I can finish this slide. Uh, yeah. We did. Uh, yeah, sure. yeah, we. Um, Gabrielle have a lot of taste, and uh, she. she pr it's probably her, I think, because uh, she's the girl in the project. But I feel like. Uh, Maybe it's uh, Arthur, I don't know. But <laughs> I know that her inspiration yeah. uh, is marked a little bit by fashion. You uh -huh. can see by the yeah. choice of picture that she, you're going to see it after this. But y there's something um, a little bit um, tr uh, traditional about fashion and the pause and the aesthetic of it. Yeah. And um, the other uh, point is the health. So taking care of your body and your brain. Like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Th this is something they're going to push. And the life enthusiasm. And share with people and connect with people, communicate. If you go somewhere else in another country, like you're not just there to party or like vacation, you, you're there to mm -hmm. meet people and yeah. And and if you can help them or do mm -hmm. something, it's it's that's their point of view. Yeah. So there was a good question, I think um, uh, Aida asked, is this inspiration board for internal use or is this something that you'll share with the client? This is shared. Yep. Uh, th these are general themes that the client has uh, talked to us about. Mm -hmm. So uh, next, next, uh, the next slides are going to be mood boards that are based off these uh, these words that we uh, we talked about with the clients. You know, mm -hmm. so this this is kind of different. Like uh, right now, no, like the client would know about these because that's mm -hmm. that's what he gave us. You know, half of the picture in this presentation is from the client. Awesome. Yeah. But we just if we feel that there's missing something or if mm -hmm. we're adding a t mm -hmm. category to it yeah. we because they didn't say oh there's six team and this yeah. is what we want to do like right. when you talk to them and you 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 write words mm -hmm. and you mm -hmm. you put them together and yeah. then you have six yeah. team yeah exactly. that's what we were talking about earlier like we are re rewriting what the client said and like we're giving it a structure and like 
you know, just so the client understands also what he's gonna mm -hmm. have. Yeah, so, it's important, and yeah. that way you can again play it back to them, like exactly. you were saying. So yeah, the, the next mood, uh, mood boards are gonna be based off these words. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm excited. So mood boards. Um, the first one is the LT, LT lifestyle self, self care, and Beautiful. I think they really like this uh, as aesthetic. Um, mm -hmm. it, it's pictures from them actually, so mm -hmm. uh, it's very it's soft. It's a little bit romantic and a little mm -hmm. bit dreamy too. It's uh, yeah, it and is. there's something in the always showcasing the 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 product too, like yeah. maybe not when where where there's no. Uh, not a person with this wingsuit, but... Yeah, no, it's really lovely. There's more connection to the person and not necessarily the beauty of the face. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Which I like that it's focusing more on the body mm -hmm. and how the body's mm -hmm. moving or working with the swimsuit. I think it's mm -hmm. very lovely, the attention to detail. They yeah. um, they said to us uh, that the, the body is an important word yeah. in the thing. Mm -hmm. It's like... It's, they don't want to promote just the body, like to make it sexy or whatever. Like right. they, they, they want to promote the body, like for as an athlete, or yeah. like it you feels know, artistic the, versus exactly. like sexified. Exactly, and, and it's very apparent. Exactly, when you look they at want it, to yeah. push the artistic mood yeah. to yeah. Uh, to and take their picture. Yeah, I, f I think that this reflects pretty much uh, the, the f also the fashion yeah. state that we were talking about. Because like even if uh, it's not like full-on clothing. We still have to give a sense of fashion totally. and that can uh, pop up in the picture, you know, yeah, I like mean, the type of picture that you it take. It totally could have been a mood board that looked like Baywatch. So <laughs> when you guys think about this at home, yeah. like there's very much like a different way to do any sort of mood board. You exactly. know, this is a very different look than mm -hmm. what a Baywatch mood board would be, which would exactly. be bright and like very like robust. And so, mm -hmm. you know, you're looking at the attributes that you showed on the page before, and this mm -hmm. really directly reflects with that mind and body. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. Uh, the next uh, mood board is an amazing picture that like showcased the the, the beauty of nature and mm -hmm. the eco-friendly uh, collaboration. They already found people they want to uh, collaborate with and mm -hmm. uh, have fun with and clean the beaches and like, oh. you know, mm -hmm. uh, this is where they can do a difference too. And uh, yeah, mm -hmm. it's really nice. And it's that's the thing with Instagram, you know, you're, you, you're not just showing your product. It's not a product page where you can buy things. It's yeah. it's really a, a mood a mood that, you, uh, that you're selling. So yeah, you have sure. to go uh, and, and share some of the pictures that look are going to look like this if you want to sell the travel and you want to sell like... Yeah. Yeah. The oh, guys, the giveaway is happening. <laughs> what? I mean... Can we hear socks? <laughs> socks? What about pillow? Can we say it? Socks and pillows and socks and pillows and what? socks and pillows. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're like, say what? <laughs> Let's ask the Lord. What do you guys Lord. want? What do you Lord guys Emil, want? Lord Emil, tell us. What do you want? Socks, socks or pillow, pillows? Pillow, They're like, pillows, socks, 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 pillow, socks. Pillow, pillow, socks. Pretty soon, pillow. Pillow. we're going to have a randomized person <laughs> chosen on this screen, and Veronique is going to say who it is because she gets the socks. I think that this pillow could be like, it could be the one of the squares from the back. Oh, totally, yeah. Look at you, he's trying to cover you up now. Oh, I just Sorry, need to pick someone. Um, actually, I think that it's gonna be randomized. Okay, and oh, then okay. they're gonna show up that on was a the big screen in front of us. I know, right? You're I like, was it's like, so no. fast, there's so many pillows <laughs> and socks. <laughs> Is the giveaway right now or is it? It is, it's right now. Guys. It's happening, there's hype around this giveaway. So, I wonder how what? many people actually <laughs> Sillows. Yeah. Sillows. Sillows. That's a new one for sock and pillow. Guys. Yeah. You can't even read what you guys are. I know, it's, it's insane, so right? I didn't know that socks were this popular, but I mean we do all wear them. Yeah. So for the most part, unless it's summer, which we're gonna be focusing on in your mood boards. <laughs> so that's pretty amazing. No socks in our mood board. No. Yeah, tomorrow we're all gonna be wearing <laughs> swimsuits. So <laughs> swimsuits with socks. <laughs> Socks are super popular. Oh God. man, I don't know if we have a winner yet, but this is gonna be pretty exciting when we do because people are sock crazy. I really like this solo. I love Solo. this. <laughs> Swim socks. Does that even exist? Yes. Swim socks? I bet they do. Maybe Probably. you guys could make swim socks. 
Yep. Maybe. We'll check it yeah, out. Yeah, you know? Who thinks they should make swim socks? <laughs> <laughs> Me. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, someone won, I think. Oh, here we go. So, Veronique, will you do the honor? Ha. Huh. It's Ada Fonten? Fonteno? Fonteno. Oh, congratulations, Ada. Ada. These are your socks. <laughs> You're like, woo-woo. <laughs> Congrats, Ada. Yeah. Ada Fontenot. Amazing. Well, that happened. We definitely gave so, away yeah. socks and a pillow. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to put oh, these she's over here. Both. She wins both. Yeah, what? she gets it all. Winner takes it all. Damn. As Michael would say, we have a wiener. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she said, I love you. Uh, Where is she? Oh. Ditto. He said, sorry. <laughs> I think that was to you because you chose the winner by random choice. <laughs> I, I chose the winner by random she choice. She chose to say the, lay, the name of yeah. Veda. <laughs> All right, now we're getting back to business. Everyone <laughs> just tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Amazing. All right, so let's Where get back to this eco friendly yeah. theme. Perfect. Yes. Well. Um, so, yep, yeah, so uh, everything that can, uh, it's uh, around the conversation of water. Um, yeah. And if they can make a difference, well, they might as well uh, bring it into their company. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. People are looking for that these Ooh, days. I love this. And this is from the warm weather escape, uh, way more tropical. And yeah. mm -hmm. But it, it's also something that um, maybe we can play with patterns and stuff, but maybe it's not necessary. It's something, mm -hmm. too, that mm -hmm. will will play around uh, when we'll be designing because yeah. on Instagram, pictures are nice, you know? It's like yeah. a nice platform for pictures and yeah, especially yeah. for- your audience. Exactly. But yeah. then because they, they're not gonna be a lot of printing, uh, printed yeah. stuff uh, next to- uh, mm -hmm. um, So we'll see. Uh, yeah, we'll but see. But right now it's in our playground. So it's mm -hmm. like warm weather escape. What do you wanna do with this, you know? Yeah, no, it's fantastic. And um, don't forget, everybody, that we're still counting down for the challenge. So mm -hmm. maybe we'll take a quick look at some of the submissions for yeah. the World Water logo. And you guys can yeah. give some feedback on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> There's someone saying, I want the pillow and socks. I know. <laughs> everybody wants the pillow and socks. So They're let's, already gone. Let's They're take gone. a look at some of these newer logos that have been submitted. Um, David yeah, Samuel. I think this is good. Yeah, very. Uh, mm -hmm. It's got an interesting like uh, world feel, which is yeah. which is yeah, exactly. very like yeah political, but in a good way. I feel like the curves could be a little smoother, but yeah, you know, you're almost there. You're almost there. All right. Yeah. Good job, David. Um, this is Narendra Parmar, and it looks like she's showing some, or he is mm -hmm. showing some process uh, for the sketch, and then a colored option. Oh, is this like Sorry. goggles and scuba? Oh, it feels a bit like this. I, I'm not sure if it's, uh, but yeah. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. All right. So we have Massimiliano, uh, yeah. Bonavia, Water for All. I feel like, as we said earlier, simpler is better. So, mm -hmm. yeah, this is a bit much. And then Water for All by Philippe Ramazzotti. Really simple. Cool. And I'm not sure who did this one, but we can zoom in here. World Water Day. Yeah. This is I good. Like the font, yeah. 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 The way the font is integrated is fun, yeah. Yeah. All right. Lala La Lori. Mm. Turn that I'm faucet on. <laughs> We're off. Oh, I see the all now. Yeah, exactly. I think, okay. like... It, it was lost on me at first. Let's see, okay. I think there's one more here. Water for All by so, Junior Curato. Uh, water, water, water. Okay. All right. Well, thank you guys for submitting. Keep submitting. We have 21 yeah. more minutes, and uh, the more you submit, the more chances you have to win a, uh, I think it's a year of Creative Cloud. So Ooh, it's a pretty good, big yeah. prize. Yeah. This I is mean, a big thing, guys. It's a big thing. Yeah. Go for it. Go for it, guys. All right. Let's get back to these mood boards. Perfect. Mm -hmm. um, it's hot. <laughs> this is our last mood board uh, for the 
by from the, the what they sent us and what the, the teams that we got. Um, this one is more inspired by the the fashion and also like it it might see it might see is it it mm -hmm. might see no. Might scenes? Yes. Ooh, that one was very hard. <laughs> I like this. Yeah. I like the addition of pink. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and they, like the orange and like sunrise colors. Yep. Um it's more they they came with this idea of Miami kind of like yeah. beach mm -hmm. and stuff and okay. I think it's a little bit harder to visualize it right now. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think because the simplicity and the mm -hmm. of the picture they sent mm -hmm. and how artistic and it's just beautiful and and clean and it mm -hmm. feels like you don't really need the 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 old like mise en scène yeah oh yeah like the the, the there's a lot of gravy on this yeah. uh, on this mood oh, board I but like that gravy yeah. technical term everyone gravy <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> not more technical about but gravy. I, I always yeah. say that we like said that. we said the is the playground like routine thing Oh, yeah. maybe it is. Oh, it like is. there's maybe too it much is. gravy. Yeah. Like it's like a lot. <laughs> like yeah. it's heavy. But we we use gravy in a, in a positive sense. Oh. Uh, in a sense, you know, we, well, we gravy is good. Because yeah. the gravy is like it's great. No, but it's good. But if you put too much, then you, yeah, exactly, you ah. exactly. But if there's not just enough, exactly. Okay, you, like you have, to have just, just enough. enough. There just you go. Enough yeah. gravy. All right, so we're all learning something new here today. <laughs> yeah, there's like a lot of gravy, but a lot could be good unless it's too much. Yeah. Ah, yes. So it gives us a, some colors too in this option, you know, like it's uh, they're, mm -hmm. they're playful and colorful option, like color options. Thank and you for joining us, Anita. She's saying goodbye. <laughs> Au revoir, Anita. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so maybe this mood board like feels a bit like it's the opposite of the first one mm -hmm. we saw that was more calm and more mm -hmm. uh, fashion, but like a different kind of fashion. I but like the tension though. Yeah, exactly. It's good. This is yep. what we have yeah. to do, you know, blend the two together so we have yeah. something that feels like the, the clients. Looks like Nicole also likes the Miami vibe, so yeah. you've got another vote out there. And <laughs> Gil. Gil's like <laughs> saying hello from Miami. So. What's up, Noel? Who wants to ride the gravy train? <laughs> what does that even mean, Noel? We don't know. Maybe that's like a car with poutine in it. Nice. <laughs> you, you've got a winner. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> uh, so, so yeah, funny. Um, these are the mood boards, and um, I love it. they're all inspired too because um, the brand is made for all young, curious, and creative souls. And I feel like the uh -huh. last option is maybe a little bit more uh, crazy, but yeah. creative people who like creative creation I and stuff. It. They yeah. mm -hmm. sometimes they do like. Uh, colors and mm -hmm. patterns and mm -hmm. it, it gives just a little touch to I also the like that you're saying it's for young curious and creative souls not <laughs> people yeah. but souls yeah. yeah so really anyone can be wearing these suits and no <laughs> yeah. matter what age you are as long as you have a youthful soul exactly there you go. yeah exactly uh, diversity sure. yeah. <laughs> inclusion <laughs> inclusion <laughs> yes I feel Good like keyword. before people were like very targeting like yeah, specific people. Yeah, like group of people, like a uh, range of uh, yeah. ages and like stuff. Like 18, but now 35 years old or uh, stuff like that. And yeah. like, mm, it's, we, it's segregated to yeah. one targeted area of people. Yeah, yeah and we but tend now to it, go like far from that. Like yeah. people nowadays like can, you know, just be as young when they're 50, like as someone. <laughs> I agree. Like, the thing is like we, we try to focus people that have same interest instead of having the same age or yeah. same uh, it's I much know, more universal. Income or whatever. That's something that we don't really use. Yeah, I like that. That's a great approach. I think mm -hmm. for again another life tip. You guys should be like just writing down life tips. Forget design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, life tips. Have a goal. <laughs> be inclusive. <laughs> don't be ageist. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Arthur says he's an old soul, so this is good. Arthur, you can wear these bathing suits. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> You're creative, so you know. <laughs> Um, and the message we want to take with the brand, so mm -hmm. uh, it's inspiring, it's made with passion, like they put a lot of uh, effort into that product, like mm -hmm. uh, they're testing it uh, since a while and they're really going to make sure it's perfect before going on market. They're mm -hmm. not doing this just to make money, they're doing it to make a good product and to be there for a while and yeah, stay yeah, yeah. there. Yeah. 
yeah. it, it's important. And as we said, like this is gonna be like the the lifestyle that they want. They, they want to travel. They want to showcase that travel. So mm -hmm. this is like. It's not just someone that does a product and then sells it to make money, you know, they're really invested in it. Yeah. Um, it's made with great care for lovers of the wa of water because mm -hmm. it's all, it's not just swimsuit to take you in pictures, swimsuit yeah. to swim and have fun in the water. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's made with the resi resistant fabric and um, mm -hmm. good material. Uh, it's made with respect for nature and mm -hmm. it's made in Montreal. Uh, it's local. Yeah. I love it. Um, so we have like, we wanted people to participate oh, and fun. find keywords. Participation time. I love this. And it's not about socks or pillows. This is nope. about <laughs> keywords, you guys, yeah. okay? So, so don't say pillow. <laughs> yeah, so this is for the people that were watching <laughs> when we were talking about the mood boards, I guess. Mm -hmm. But like, what kind of keywords do you guys want to put in there? Like, what do you feel is the... I don't know. Yeah, the key, yes. the key points in the presentation so far. So we're asking for three keywords yeah. that would describe the feeling of the mm -hmm. mood boards, um, of the presentation of the company. To like, what's when we say uh, what's the playground ah. and um, yeah. what should be our three keywords Amazing. for the project while we're working tomorrow? What do, do we have to mm -hmm. keep in mind while doing it? Perfect. Well, you've already got some right here. Ada says fresh. Ryan says youthful, mm -hmm. wet, unique, sweet. I think, I think youthful is a good one. Youthful for is now. great. Yeah, sure. because it's a them. very specific. Yeah. Yeah. As as we said, this is these are the keywords that we're gonna refer back when we're Fun, working on it. Authentic, real. Mm -hmm. I think we're looking for something maybe even more descriptive. Rooted. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah rooted, rooted, earthy. Mm -hmm. hmm, interesting. I like rooted. Rooted is a good one. Sustainable. It's, it's Sustainable is a good one. Mm -hmm. too. Alive. There's something we didn't talk about, Ooh. but uh, Adobe said super cool. I like that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, super cool is awesome. <laughs> this is descriptive. It's, descriptive. it's super <laughs> and it's cool. I mean, like yeah. one word yeah. <laughs> made into two words. Yeah. <laughs> Energetic. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Ah, piquant. Passionate. I'm not sure yeah. I even know what that means. We're going to have to Google that. <laughs> Passionate time. Piquant. Mm. Oh, is that a French word? Piquant, yeah. Oh. It means uh, spicy. Spicy, oh. Um. Again, we're always learning something new. Gravy, spicy. <laughs> you know, this is great. Passionate, rooted, yeah. beautiful. I'm yeah. going to write Passionate. a little bit more and uh, we will decide after. Traditional. Hmm. I don't know. No, I, don't I feel like this is anything but traditional. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe something about gravy, gravy train. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're all like, oh. yeah. Mindful Vanessa, that is Mindful. very good. That is good, yes. Very. Vanessa is the owner of Orly. If you guys remember Orly, the dog from the picture in the first <laughs> oh, no Vanessa. Oh, really? Yeah. I love that. Hi, Mindful. Vanessa. I love the name of that dog. <laughs> Orly? <laughs> it's cute. Spirited. It's yeah, spirited. Too. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it kind of goes me, along with like, yeah, mindful and youthful, spirited, ageless. Mm. Mm. Ageless is a good word too, because we were talking about this uh, when we were talking about the brand. Mm -hmm. They gave us some inspiration of brands that like, all, they still look cool after like years and years and people yeah. still wear mm -hmm. it. And, yeah, uh, timeless then. It, they're timeless yeah. and they, they have this vintage vibe, but yeah. and I think we have this too with the Miami vibe. We have the vintage kind right. of yeah. the, without being kitschy. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah, there's a totally different feel. Words are so important with design. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are. Uh, you know, uh, vintage could mean so many things, and that's why when we're looking for <laughs> specific words, we're looking for specific versions of that word. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> inviting. Uh, let's see, traditional. Ah, yes. Um, we understand, Ryan. He's like, that's <laughs> sort of what I meant. And we're like, yeah, we know. Sure. Don't yeah. worry, you're still cool in our book. Um, <laughs> okay, so um, there's a lot of word that looks like... Repetitive? Yeah, repetitive. So, mm -hmm. uh, we'll <laughs> so we're going to keep uh, youthful. And I think because... Uh, but it's youthful in the way that we said the the, the yeah. young souls as a state of mind. Yeah, yeah, as a state youthful of mind. As a state of I mind. like that. Um, I like the mindful, spirited, yeah, and there's grounded too. Yeah, grounded. Yeah, I feel like grounded and rooted or yeah, similar. kind of similar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Vibrant. 
Madison says vibrant. Vibrant. Uh, Arturo says beingness. Mm, that might be complicated. <laughs> beingness, yeah. Maybe just for me to say. Mm. Vibrant. Avant-garde. Ma vibrant is good because we want to bring like some colors into mm -hmm. the... Yeah. We want to bring... Yeah. There was um, the... Oops. The life enthusiast, you know? So mm -hmm. it comes with... Mm -hmm. it, it, I feel like the first mood board, which is more... Um, uh, details about the, the the body and the beauty yeah. of nature is fun, but it's not life enthusiast. No, and we mm -hmm. need to like yeah. we need, we need to, to put a little bit natural. of mm -hmm. and natural natural is very good. And something we always say is that these keywords are what we base our design on, but like they balance each other out. So sometimes mm -hmm. you know we're gonna have an option Flashy. that. Vibrant is a little Communal. bit more. Sometimes we're gonna have uh, an option that youthful yeah. is uh, is kind of oh, more in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, I like the vibrant with passionate because yeah. passion is like energy and vibrance mm. is energy, and it's energy. also like colorful but also like a deep in internal. Yeah, thing. yeah, that's nice. Start. I feel that energetic could be like with youthful, you know? Right. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Oh, there's dynamic too. Lively, vivid, young. Oh, vivid. It's Aesthetic. A, I like groovy. Vivid. Oh, that's kind of like gravy, Natalia. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I meant groovy. Groovy, <laughs> groovy train now. Groovy, yeah. Alive. But what we'll do tonight is we'll talk to Arthur and Gabrielle and we'll We'll yeah. tell oh, them wonderful. all. But they're probably listening. They're probably so listening. They probably <laughs> saw all your words, and we're gonna discuss with them about what words uh, they they liked and yeah. what they want to keep. And tomorrow, it's really gonna yeah. uh, align. Align. Totally. Early. Bold. Bold's one of my favorite and least favorite words at the same time. Yeah. Because everyone's like, I'm going to be bold. And then you're like, bold means so many things. Yeah, exactly. You have to be it's more specific. It's kind of like saying, you know, Because you, be, you can be <laughs> really bold with a very simple aesthetic. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you come like really stark. like, exactly, yeah. you come like, you, it's not the brand that is bold, but it's how you get there. Yeah, or it could be the voice is really bold. Exactly. But everything's really soft. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. There's so many ways to do bold. Man, it's a tough one. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. Fierce. Ooh, interesting. Courageous, mm -hmm. adventurous, daring. <laughs> adventurous could know. be good. Adventurous yeah. could be adventurous good. Adventurous could be good. They're, they're oh, traveling. Daring, yeah, there's something courageous. about travel that needs to be there, you know? Yes, good suggestions, guys. I yeah. think these are great. Adventurous. Breezy. Oh, that's an interesting one. Breezy? Breezy is very specific. What means breezy? Breezy, like, like the, the wind airy, or like no, light, yeah. airy. Uh, confident. Mm. Yeah, confident. Oh, Voodoo likes like adventurous too. Yeah. I like uh, adventurous. Yeah. 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 Definitely goes along with the youthful. Yeah. Earthy, earthly, capricious. Mm, I don't know. I wow, you guys have, have good words. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we'll go, uh, and they probably uh, wrote some downs too. So we're gonna tomorrow. We're gonna come back first thing with the keywords. Amazing. Mm. Yeah. And uh, we like already took out some um, Ooh, yeah. colors, but it's it's very uh, pre pre like the, her first thoughts on the color, yeah, yeah, like yeah. the uh, easy thing that came to her minds. Like we have the super bright pink and the peach for the vibrant color, because mm -hmm. we were already a little bit in the idea mm -hmm. that there was gonna be something vivid or vibrant. Yeah, and um, there's the two shades of blue. Uh, blue, for the water yeah. mm -hmm. and the green for the more earthy uh, like that plant yeah. life, yeah. Plant life. This is great. So people are pretty excited about uh, being able to be part of the process. I think this was really nice. I know oh. Jose is like, yes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, high five, Jose. <laughs> uh, we have about six more minutes until we are choosing who wins Creative Cloud for the year. Um, we have a few more. We have a few more submissions, but I'd love to see a couple more submissions come in. So get no working, guys. guys. World water logos. Let's see those come in. Yeah. Yeah. But in the meantime, let's talk a little bit about this color palette. Yeah. <laughs> we have we have a lot of uh, other colors that uh, we're gonna play with, but um, this is for us the first uh, in instinct that we had for the yeah. colors. Yeah. But I. It's it's important to not stick to this the old mm -hmm. process because you can maybe we're gonna tone down like yeah. yeah and this is where we have to decide is the first uh, if we go with the first mood board yeah. 
like you can take person you can take all your mood board and give the percentage to it you know like yeah, yeah. let's say um a healthy lifestyle and some people were like healthy lifestyle what is this but it's yeah. more like waking up and like it's a slow life it's just like yeah. you wake up and you what's good for you right now it's yeah. always ta asking yourself what is good for me now and not like mm -hmm. for me and the world and what right. i have to do today like take time for your brain and for your stomach and yeah um like eat well and it's the mindfulness of today yeah, that's exactly. the major buzzword of everything we do yeah. let's be mindful yeah, yeah. let's have yogurt <laughs> and granola. <laughs> Unless you're allergic, don't do either of yeah. those things. <laughs> <laughs> and um, let's say if we go for that, like for you don't see bright pink, you know? Yeah, yeah. exactly. So it, we can have a totally, there's a unique palette just for that. Yeah, yeah, it's very true. And there's like, you can always do that too. You can pick like a color palette from a mood board. Mm -hmm. Like in some apps, you can do it too. You put all your inspiration picture mm. yeah. and they'll give you a palette for that. So in this picture is more like earthy and soft colors. Mm -hmm. In this palette is more blue and green and it's very like, uh, it's fresh, it's refreshing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, Calming colors. Exactly. In this one, you have like a good contrast of like uh, the pink, the yellow, the blue, mm -hmm. and the green. Yeah, I like which that. is very tropical. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. it, it, it uh, gives you a, a tone already. Yeah. And on this one, you also have the pink, but it is it is used more softly. Yeah. Than yeah. the the tropical uh, mood. So. Yeah. For sure, you can definitely see the differences in the palette and, mm -hmm. you know, some skew more feminine, some skew more yeah. earth and, like, nature. It's it's a great mix. And I think that this is something that's gonna, like, blend well together when we're gonna start working in it. Mm -hmm. Like, some colors are gonna pop more and we're gonna be more, like, I don't know, more um, inclined to work with, like, a bit more green yeah. and then a bit more a bit more pink and we're gonna we're gonna know for sure like which color is our primary colors and then which are our secondary yeah. like this is something that happens when you work in it so kathy has a question yeah. uh do you always present your colors and presentations on black background Ooh. no no this is a first actually yeah we like never, never yeah we never, we never do, do that, do that. True. Well, way to go for the first time. <laughs> this is, it's fun to do first together. Yeah. It's, I think this presentation is more... Um, um, we, we didn't put it on white because we are still going to play with it. And yeah. at this step, this is so not final. The choice of a color yeah. palette is just... Uh, it's just to bring what our general mm -hmm. feeling, uh, our first feeling about yeah. it. So I think uh, that's why we... We think we're gonna use um, like a bright color, like pink. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think that's great. Yeah, it's nice to see such a variety because you know you don't know until you start getting into exactly. designing. Exactly. And even when you start to work with photography, like that changes the color palette. Exactly. And, yeah. It's yeah. still really abstract. I think this presentation, but we've made it with the client, and I think that's why it's nice to do it with the client yeah. because mm -hmm. you you uh, go forward super fast and. As I said, if if we were a big agency, yeah. we can do every step like very properly and like mm -hmm. going through a lot of like fine details. Yeah. But now we're trying to have more time to do creation and mm -hmm. like yeah. play with it. So we have to be creative about that too. So it's like feed us and we'll feed you. And yeah. we, we, we see the same things and we agreed on the same picture. Exactly. Like For it, sure. th it's nothing that is gonna shock them or they're gonna say, Oh, I don't like this, and it's still a big challenge to mix this board yeah. with this board. But totally. this is both direction they like, and maybe we're gonna have yeah, one maybe it'll direction. Yeah, one concept that focuses on this. Yeah. yeah, exactly, and we can bring a little like color. Yeah. In the in this universe to like totally. mix it, or the contrary, something really bright, but the photography next to it is very uh, like this mood board. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at some of yeah. these submissions. I know we have one more minute for the deadline, but we can you can still submit while we're walking through, and then I think that uh, we'll have the ultimate cutoff. Wow. So, <laughs> yeah, I know, right? The ultimate <laughs> cutoff. <laughs> 
All right, so here we go. This is Caitlin Hannibal. Yeah, this feels pretty pretty new. We haven't seen things with like uh, yeah. typograph scoot typograph. I like the again. water illustration. Cool. Maybe yeah. I would uh, make uh, mix the the type the same style as the water. Like it feels like you. Uh, I would like mix the two uh, of them. Oh yeah, yeah. I could something see something a little mean, bit like more handmade or contrary, the water just a little bit more smooth to mm -hmm. too much with the the, the but pipes. Yeah. I think the blue is really important in this one because the um, I don't the the, 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 the logo could look like uh, the inside of a tree, you know. Oh. So yeah, I could see but that now too. We understand. Yeah. Yeah. This is great. Thanks for submitting, Caitlin. <laughs> Uh, oh, here we go. So this is DJF Design. Well, it's it's a hand dropping water. A hand dropping water. Severed hand. <laughs> I feel like the the hand the hand would have to be in the same kind of style as the water then, because it feels yeah. now like two separate things. But uh, the concept is kind of fun. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. great. All right. Oh, Water for All by Eric Ruiz Svensson. This very, feels like a flag. Nice. Yeah. yeah. But I, I really like the colors. We we talked earlier about like the the, the kind of rainbow flag, and yeah. I think it's a good uh, it's a good, a good way to go if you want to differentiate. Yeah, like, totally. Instead of just having blue. Oh, here we go. World Water Day, by Charlie Dickinson. Okay. Uh, Is it a glass of water? I think so. Okay. okay. Uh, water for All by oh, Amy Wang. Yeah. I, like I kind of like the idea, yeah. like having the, the drop of water inside the water. I think we, yeah, we haven't seen that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think maybe the A should be like going downwards uh, and yes, like the aligning with be, the four all. Yep. And then the drop could be a little bit lower. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm not sure this is the right typography for it, but it's no, a good like start. It. It's a really good start. Yeah. I, like it. I think it's really clean. Yeah, good mm -hmm. start, Amy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Water for oh, all. This is another way go. to put it. Like, yeah. but it's. I, I nice. always feel like it's it's fun to have something that's really integrated in the words and. Uh, yeah, and maybe the, it could be only in the O. You know, you don't have to repeat. I was the thinking thing that, yeah. but yeah. I think it's it's fun that the font is modified. Maybe. Um, in these kind of option, like changing, tweaking mm -hmm. the all the font to mm -hmm. to match yeah. that detail is like. Yeah. Is uh, is very nice, but it, because it kind of becomes a font. Yeah, yeah. not just a logo. Not it's just like a logo, but it can be a yeah. poster font now. Oh, that's an interesting yeah. point. Good job, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> Water for all. Oh, this is like the earth and hmm. a droplet. Yeah. I think like there's a bit too much um, grainy uh, stuff in the in the words but like the concept of it's, it is it looks like a poster yeah it's, it's, yeah it's, more it's, of a poster mm -hmm, yeah. it's more of a poster but like let's submit again it. tomorrow for the poster <laughs> 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 nice work all right rp water for all, water uh, for all. okay then oh, well, i see the world in there it's yeah, well done it's, and it's the super w. nice there's a, but it's it, for a logo. It's complicated, but it's yeah. uh, I like the style and yeah. This feels more like an illustration again. Yes. Like so, maybe yeah. take the water for all, take it out of the logo, I guess, so it can be a little bigger. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Uh, Alex oh. Schwanka. I really like the type and the yeah. like infinity yeah, kind of thing. All. Like this is a good concept for. For this kind of brand, yeah, yeah, this is a good idea. Yeah, good ideas here. All right, water for all. This is Hamid mm. or Hammy. The water droplet, like it goes like a different mm. way than the, nor the normal do they normally do. Yeah. yeah, good idea. All right, and then Andrew oh. Frey. Oh, and that's Hamid. Oh, yeah, that's. I think that exists. Water for all. All right, let's see. Uh, Danilo Asenin. Mm. I don't think we can read that A. No. But it's a good idea, and like what? like I said earlier, like putting a droplet inside the word somewhere, like it's, mm -hmm. it's a good idea, but like maybe this, the A needs to be like a bit yeah. more... Uh, obvious. Yeah, more obvious. But the placement is nice. Yeah, All right. I like the idea. I'm going to see if I have any more, but we'll go back to you guys and look at the mood boards, yeah. and then I can check if there was any last minute submissions before we uh, pick the winner. Yeah. Yeah. Go for it. All right. Perfect. 
perfect. Uh -huh. So, so this is where we were. Um, oops, am I good? am I going in the right direction? <laughs> yes, I yeah, am. Okay. Perfect. So back to the the color palette. Um, yeah. So this is the our first choices, and maybe it's gonna move tomorrow, and we're gonna yeah. find new colors. Um, I think yes. At this point, it's a, a little weird to s settle on this, but mm -hmm. this is what we're gonna start with and adjust on what we're gonna do. Yeah, and you guys are gonna help us adjust it, you know? Yep. Ooh, participation. Ooh. And um, we found some, like, we have some fun styles mm -hmm. um, that are pushing the same like kind of moods uh, of yeah. the mood board. So they're, the first one is more like vintage uh, feel. Yeah, when like when we we talk about something tropical and something like beach, uh, mm -hmm. we sh the first thing that comes in mind I think is script and writing. You know, because people are gonna write. Oh uh, yeah, these are good. Yeah. So. All right. Well, we have a few more submissions that you guys oh. should check okay, out. Perfect. Let's go for and it. These are them, and then we'll narrow it down. Okay. So, okay. Liam Core, Water for All. Hmm. I feel like this logo is a little bit too complex. Like it could be just solid colors, and it could be could be good. You know? But it's, mm -hmm. a, it's but nicely it, uh, put all together. Yeah, with exactly. All, the L, and then oh. this is one Orzoka. I kind of like this one. The, the idea of putting someone oh, inside yeah. the droplet. It's for it, all or <laughs> one <laughs> for that one yeah. guy for in the droplet. One guy. <laughs> We've got Thomas oh, Bocher. Oh. Okay. All right. Kind of fun. Uh, Chris McEnery. Oh, the A ah, is, the like a inverted. is missing. Yeah. Ooh. I'm not sure everyone's gonna get it, but you're like, it's but a I good got idea. it. Yeah. Camille <laughs> got it. <laughs> I got it. Nice, good up, nice Chris. Maybe. Oh, nice. That is nice. Just basketball. <laughs> <laughs> um, water for all. Oh, uh -huh. cool. I like the stylized uh, uh, multiple droplets. Water for all, Eric Tomlinson with distortion. It's nice. Yeah. Oh, I like oh this, this is cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's fun. Mm. It's very fun. Sauce or yeah. mm. Mm. Uh, let's see. Water for all. Also fun. Active. Water for all. Is it, it's the, the earth again? Yeah. 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 Okay. But I like this, this, this the, the font, which yeah. is. Like yeah. I said earlier, it's like in the same style mm -hmm. as the illustration. Yeah. Well, I'm going to quickly go back through the ones that you guys had said a couple extra words about. <laughs> and then you guys will have to pick and fight with each other about who <laughs> wins. Okay. Yeah, I know you guys liked this one. Let's see. Yeah. You just let me know. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of them. Yeah, this is cool. This is also cool. And then I think we started right around here. Yep. I'll let you choose. Oh, <laughs> King gets to choose. No, I can't. I this can't. is so hard. All right, but I'm going to go through. This like is the from the beginning. The first one is the one that feels more like uh, like the real thing, you know? The like, real thing? Yeah. Um, Ooh. I don't know. Maybe pick, what do you pick, get? pick three. Pick I have three? to pick three? Made, pick three, and, and then she's and then, really and, pick. She's oh, like, so oh, I and then I'm three, gonna and pick. Then you pick one. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right, so this okay, one. Okay, so this one is there. All right. I think we should put in there the one with the the A, uh, the, the A that was a droplet. Oh, uh, let's see cause, this cause, one. Yeah, because I All like right. the idea. I don't think it's finished, but like I like the idea. Like, yep. All right. Let's see. Keep uh, going. Yeah, this one. Oh, this one. Yeah, I think. Are those the three? Are those the three? This one. Are you okay you with that? With this the one. Three. I decide with the one. And this one. Lord Emil. <laughs> That's a great name. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I was born this way. I it's was born this way. It's my mother's name, you know? <laughs> I know you guys also had uh, some love for, where is it? This one. Yeah, too. Yeah. <sighs> I know, this is tough. Okay. We've got these four. Let's see. Water for all. Water for all. Dun, if you, if I had to choose a logo that I would have to play with for for a while, yeah, I would pick the the last one. This one. This yep. one. I think uh, I I love to play with that one. Yeah, I think it would be fun to play with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And considering your theme is playground. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you let me you let me choose, so that's what I'm choosing. All right, <laughs> all right. She's really the boss, you guys. <laughs> Emil just got cracked down. Yeah. You all right. Three. Congratulations. Yeah. So we have a winner. Who's yeah. that? Yeah, we Constanza. have a winner. Constanza. Are you still there, Constanza? Soromenho. <laughs> Sorry if I'm bad at the pronunciation. I'm doing my best. <laughs> Constanza. Constanza. And if we missed one of yours, there's still time to submit and get seen in the next show. Oh, she's there. Ah, hi, hi Constanza. You won. <laughs> That's right. She wins a year of Creative Cloud. Wow. That's, awesome. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. And now you know that Veronique would want to play with your logo, so this is great. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I'd play with that. <laughs> yep. But That's like, pretty great. Good job, everyone. There yeah, was a lot great of good job, ideas. Everyone. There are yeah. a lot of good ideas. Yeah. And like people had, what, a, an hour to work yeah, on this? Yeah, I think so an hour or less. So, yeah. Congratulations, guys. Yeah, congratulations. Cool. Well, this is awesome. So, I think we can hop back onto your screen and take a yep. look at some of your fonts. And um, we have about 10 more minutes before we're saying adios for the day. It's right. perfect because we, I think this We're is the there. last slide, so oh, it's a well, perfect timing. Even better because we can talk a little bit about what you guys are going to do tomorrow perfect. and yeah. on day three yeah. as well. So um, from what I heard is that tomorrow you'll share a little bit of a quick intro and then some mm -hmm. of the projects that you've been working on, um, recap what we did on day one. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna say that um, it, we'll probably mm -hmm. get into design. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I feel like uh, I have. Uh, if you if you want to skip to my screen, I had a couple Ooh. a couple fonts that we can show and like. Yeah. Like, Ooh. Now we we're we're on the Lord's screen. This is great. <laughs> May I oh. think we can wait tomorrow too? Yeah. Do you want to wait May, for tomorrow? May do we have ten Ooh. minutes? Yeah, we have about fifteen minutes. Fifteen yeah. minutes. Yeah. Left. Let's take a look. I think okay. That perfect. Could be cool. Okay. Right. Good. Yeah, and I'm also curious because before we, oh, nice. <laughs> we didn't really get to talk through the um, font styles yet. But so. it's on Emil's screen too, so oh, it's perfect. Amazing. So we can. Uh, Do you want me to put this back on? No, it's fine. Oh, it's okay. uh, We have like script uh, fonts, we have sans serif font, and we have yeah. serif fonts. And for sure, they're all going to bring a personality to the brand. Mm -hmm. So yeah. right now, because it's not very clear if we push like, something uh, very vibrant and colorful yep. or something uh, more um, soft and romantic, dreamy. Yeah, mm -hmm. totally. Um, we are going to make two options that are totally different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we can, when the client is going to see um, the options, he's going to recognize himself through one or the, the yeah, other. It's yeah. like a personality or seeing yourself in the mirror. You're like, oh, that one speaks to mm -hmm. me, especially when it's your own brand. So. Exactly. Yeah. Um, someone, uh, Arturo has a question. Do you have any fonts for sale? <laughs> I do have one. Ooh, is it the one <laughs> that we saw? No, no, it's not the one that you saw. I can show it just for fun. <laughs> But we're not gonna use it for money channel though. What? This is it, it's for sale, but uh, I don't know if I should say that. But it's the first one that I ever drew for a class. It's called Bad Blood because we didn't talk about that, but we're big Taylor Swift fans. Ooh, and are you? She's got a song oh, that's called yeah. Bad Blood, and the you know. The secrets come out. So this is the font. <laughs> So this is uh, this is for sale. This is amazing. <laughs> you know what? It just keeps getting better. Yeah. <laughs> Please show us your socks. <laughs> so, no, no they're, they're not funky. They're not. Are funky they Taylor Swift socks? No, they're not. He's I wish Taylor though. <laughs> I wish. Too Swift. Yeah. Yeah. So I was I was working on this uh, like black letter modern I don't know kind of kind of font and for it, Taylor. No, no, not for her. I wish though. <laughs> but yeah, this is this is when uh, her album 1989 came out, and I was uh -huh. listening to it all the time. Oh, <laughs> so, this is so and, good. <laughs> and when so yeah, good. when I did the presentation for that font, like there was pictures of Taylor Swift yeah. everywhere with the font. Oh, amazing! And a couple of years after that, she made T-shirts with more like fonts that look like this. Mm, I'm I don't know. <laughs> you know, you kept him working with you. This is great. Yeah. So I don't know who. Who asked for the font? Yeah, Arturo, I think. But yeah, yeah this Arturo. is for sale on, on my <laughs> You can dance, buy this, like, Arturo. He's like, please lol. Don't, you know, this is the first one I've ever drawn. So I love so. it. I think it's super cool. Maybe you guys should do this for, um, you know, Manakano. 
<laughs> yeah, but uh, I don't want to. Yeah, let's, I don't put don't this, see let's put Monacano in that. It's like, <laughs> yes, Monacano. Uh, we tried to to use it for uh, Taverno. We talked about oh, Taverno. Yeah. We tried to use it, but... Uh, Someday, you're going to find yeah. the right brand that's going to come to you. Like, maybe T-Swift <laughs> will show up on your door and she'll I be like, hope. I'm in Montreal. <laughs> I hope so, yeah. Oh, uh, so. yes. Um, we'll have Back. to find a link to that. Sean also wants to buy Bad Blood. <laughs> Everyone wants Bad Blood. Just go I on mean. my personal Behance page and there's Wait, a... they can buy it. Yeah, yeah, they can. <laughs> they can. It's like ten dollars. It's on a site Amazing. somewhere. Amazing! What a deal. <laughs> Arturo is saying YOLO. <laughs> like YOLO, what? man. Yeah, you can only buy it once. It's more like YOBO. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. So back to Monicano. Back to Monicano. Yeah. Uh, well, the thing we were talking about is like there's so much. Uh, oh, these are beautiful. Yeah. We we said like the the first thing that came to mind is something script, but like I, I wanted to look at what type of script mm -hmm. there there is. Like there's these kind of ones that we mm -hmm. kind of used for a couple mm -hmm. brands now. So like <laughs> I want to maybe go away. In uh, what font is that? Uh, this is called Braden, I think. Braden. Yeah, Braden script. It's beautiful. But what I really like about this one, and uh, maybe a little tip about Adobe if I can, uh -huh. but there's is so much like uh, oh, different glyphs, open yeah. type glyphs and uh, open type. Amazing. Uh, yeah. yeah, so this this font is really fun. Oh, for yeah, that's that. super versatile so that yeah. you can, if you're doing posters or if you're creating exactly. signage. Exactly. Yeah, that's so this, amazing. Uh, but th these kind of fonts are really helpful when you want to do something, um, well, that's something we do. We draw every every logo from scratch. You know, mm -hmm. we always uh, we we, off, we never use only a, a, a font, font and yeah. that's it. You know, we but always you can draw get some. inspired by one yeah. that is already made and like with all these great yeah. options, you can like tweak your own font. Exactly. Yeah. Like if I if I started drawing like only a money canal that looked like this and maybe. Because the first O looked like that, I I would have done the same O at the end. But like by see, by seeing this font that has so much uh, glyphs, yeah, there you're inspired. I, yeah, by I, I get inspired by. Oh, it's it incredible. Does. And uh, this font also has the same kind of features. Garius, mm -hmm. we use it for Kekeo mm -hmm. this, right? Um, and then there's more these like sign painting styles that I really like. Oh Th yeah, this can be fun too. They're but really yeah. Miami if we. It's yeah, very exactly. like Tropicana. Yeah, Tropicana. I love that. Yeah. yeah. So this is the kind of fonts that I. Uh, yeah. That I these thought, are great. <laughs> this is Giddy Up. This is a really weird font. Oh, but fun! I just, yeah. Uh, I just put it there because, like, in yeah, again, you like the maybe, style. It might influence you. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So. Ah, uh, uh, so David is asking, can the font be used for commercial if I buy it? Oh, my font. Your yeah, font. Do whatever you <laughs> yeah, want. Yeah, man. With it. Use it for your Taylor <laughs> Swift commercial. Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> what's uh, I wrote in the in the post in the in the Bad Blood post? I wrote like just send me something like what you did with the font if you want. <laughs> <laughs> like this could be really fun. I just want to see people use that because yeah. I've never used it for anything. I really you better start using it. You know what's going to happen. Everybody on this stream is going to yeah. use bad blood for their next project. Yes, but seriously, guys, if you yeah. use it, just try to send me stuff about it. I want to see what you guys <laughs> did with that. Like this is this is fun. It's amazing. Yeah. So uh, oh, so that's like... interesting up in the left hand corner. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it, not not only you you have to do script every time, but if you want to have a end made feel, maybe yeah. maybe you can use this. Kind of a font like that's more bubbly. That's more like yeah, it's drawn like yeah. by someone, you know. Um, yeah, I think the column in the middle is really lovely, though. Yeah. Um, I really like this one also. That like it kind of bounces from mm. up to down. This could be fun also. It feels really like it feels like a water yeah. font, oh. you know. Yeah, Kathy really has cool. a great question. Where do you guys go to choose your fonts? Ah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> everywhere. But do you we, we have do, a favorite source? I, we do um, find some fonts in Typekit. Mm -hmm. Then yeah. more more for the um, like text fonts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I always go there because there's great options for yeah. text fonts, and mm -hmm. uh, you know you can you can uh, use them some for web and for print, yeah. and it's easy. Um, and if the client wants it, they can just buy it, and it's not yeah. it's yeah. not expensive, and it's it, there's use it online. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And, um, but the thing is, like, look everywhere. And as I said earlier, we draw every f every logo by hand. But like, I mean, from scratch. Mm -hmm. So like, get anything. That There's you, great that ideas you like and, everywhere. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
and they're also asking, what is the font that's on the screen right now? This one, it's called Playlist Script. Playlist, interesting. Yeah. I love the names of fonts. They're always so yeah. evocative. <laughs> yeah. But uh, sometimes we go on like uh, Foundry's website, yeah. mm -hmm. and we pr like let's say we if we find a font specific for project, uh, you can type the font in the the, mm -hmm. the Foundry, uh -huh. and then we screenshot it and we present it to the client, and we say that mm -hmm. it would be a, a very great addition to the brand, yeah. and that yeah. it will be like very. Because yes, they are more expensive, but if you start with... But it's with, not that expensive, no, you know. It's worth it, but yeah. some are, some some, are expensive, some are, but, but if you already know that you want to make it really simple, mm -hmm. instead Just, of like putting hours towards trying to make something nice, yeah. you take yeah. some time to go find the perfect fund for yeah, the project, totally. and it's... Uh, and you can include this in your budget that you prove that you uh, yeah. estimate mm -hmm. because if yeah. you say I'm gonna work this amount of hours yeah. and you took this time to find the fund and the fund cost this and it works well then you don't have yeah. to make your own fund that's great yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yes yeah. Federique says hey. the best up, <laughs> it's her friend who lives in San Francisco oh yeah. cool we're gonna see her tomorrow yeah. hello <laughs> um, and yeah for funds. Um, We've got, we said we want to represent Montreal, so I've got friends who are type, uh, type Ooh, designers cool. in Montreal. They're called Cuppers and Brasses. Mm -hmm. If you want to go check them out, they do really, really cool stuff. Nice. They're, they're my, they're yeah, my favorites. Yeah, these are a great selection. Yeah, so um, We're only these looking are at the for script the script. And handwritten. I mean, like, yeah. there's so much to look at. This is and, awesome. Uh, after the script, I just wanted to look at what what font had like good personality to it, you know? Uh -huh. Just like um, uh, that were more straight, but that still had uh, personality. So um, I don't know if I want to go through uh, every one of them, but uh, I don't know. There's ones that like are more, uh, I like. I just really like this A, you know? Um, this one I liked how yeah. it, wa it, it was like, um, yeah, It's really nice and uppercase. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This feels kind of, kind of beachy. I don't know why, but I feel like yeah. this is tropical or in in Looks some like way. Bamboo. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah maybe. You know, like yeah. the shapes of a bamboo. Yeah, and there's something that I really like in there, and yeah, there were some others that mm -hmm. I don't know. I just I, I was just really looking to for personality, you know, there's something that looks like woodcut in there. I don't mm -hmm. know, it's really more... Okay, okay, okay. Laura has know, an fun. interesting question. Yeah. Uh, do you let the client pick the font or do you match them to the different board you present? Uh, I match them. We match them. Yeah. But like right now it's like super different from a board to another, but yeah. after that we like take our keywords and mm -hmm. let's mm -hmm. say Yelpful and well, which fonts have that, you know, like for me when you look at the the top one. Oops. This one. Well, uh, you can already like decide that it's, it's not small caps, but like the yeah, caps. Not caps is more serious. And yeah, exactly. The, yeah. And yeah. the other one is it feels a little bit more uh, youth. So yeah. yeah. So this could be more on like the health and beauty. Yeah. And mindfulness. You know, exactly. when you start with this one, you see that mm. A that feels, oops, that feels a uh, I don't know, a bit more feminine, I guess. This yeah. this feels really more like soft and subtle. Mm -hmm. So if we want to go that way, maybe this is a good starting point. Yeah. And as we said earlier, these fonts are really much more uh, of starting points for the logo. And then after that, maybe we're gonna we're gonna find a secondary font that's more that has a bit yeah, less more personality. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> This is a cool font that my girlfriend drew. Oh yeah, it's yeah. very cool. I really like the uppercase up Yeah, I do too. Go Pascal. Go Pascal. Yeah, go Pascal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I really like how they're, they're like, mm -hmm. the angle of it. The, um, and there's one that feels a bit like this, that is uh, Antic Olive, really cool font too, that has like mm. almost a reversed contrast in it. That's yeah. also, Mm -hmm. A good personality to it, really fun. Yeah, it's a little wider at the top. It looks yeah, like exactly. The O's. Yeah. Yep. There's some uh, fun but, details in it. Yeah. yeah. And what we can look for, we said earlier um, that we like when the droplet is in the, yeah. the logo. You look can at see that the A, eye you know? And the, oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> Yeah, yeah so the bowl of might, the A maybe is, this is a, maybe yeah, this is that a starting might be good. Point, you know? Everybody, look at that one. <laughs> you know, Whoa. there's some fodder for your next competition. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Um, Amazing. This one looks like a one we saw, ah. but more more straight, I guess. This is fun. Well, we are really excited about what's going to happen tomorrow. We yeah. have just about a minute left for today. What? I know, right? Oh, that went by really quick. Um, pillows, socks, gravy. Yeah. We've learned a lot. Um, and we have... Um, we We're have a great show following old. us, and uh, <laughs> there you go <laughs> with Krishna Priya Dutta Gupta. But come back tomorrow because Veronique and Emil will be here, and they will be starting the process for Manakano. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing where where it goes. This is going to be yeah. amazing. We we too like uh, we, we, we. It's going to be fun. Yeah, yeah. We're looking and tough, to but fun. Tough is good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. This has been a great show. Thanks to you. Thanks yeah. To you, yeah. And thanks to everyone that helped us. You know. Hey guys, we'll see you soon. <laughs>